What's up survivors? Um, making a little video here how to make an underground uh, garden. So as you can see I've already got an existing underground garden here. It's got potatoes and coffee planted currently. You can see that uh, oh, there's a little bit of damage on my uh, on the outside there. Um, you know it's never a safe place in seven days to die. You gotta you gotta always be on the alert. So anyways um, this is what my underground garden currently looks like and I'm going to expand it to be twice the size that it currently is so I would need a couple of things to make sure that I've got the right amount of equipment to, to make that happen um, first of all I need an auger so my trusty auger here and I'm gonna start digging my hole move some things out of the way and uh, first thing you gotta do is dig the hole so here we go so through the power of the internet I uh, kinda edited that out for you guys and I measured using um, wooden frames to make sure that it's about the same size and I over dug a little bit so I'm just going to fill a few pieces here um, essentially no big deal alright and there's my hole that uh, on both sides kind of do the outside part now the reason why I dig the outside and watch this because this is uh, this is kind of cool um, I like to use the physics to help me make my buildings. And what I mean by that is the game is physics uh, intensive so I basically dug all the way around the outside and then I dug underneath it like this and by doing that it weakens the structure of everything on top and so once I'm done digging out everything on top now I can dig around the outside edge and you can see the middle is, is kind of cleared out there and what happens is all of the dirt falls down. I don't have to dig each individual piece one by one. I, the physics kind of does digs the hole for me. And that's a, a neat little trick if you're trying to empty out a, a hole uh, like this. And uh, that's the hole. Now the next thing I want to do is uh, I can always get uh, un un uninvited guests to my hole that I, that I might need to jump out of it relatively quickly. So I'm going to be doing something like this. I want to make sure I have a way out because now that I'm stuck in the hole, so I make sure that I build my wall in such a way that I can easily jump out of it if I need to. Now I didn't show the part in the video, but you'll notice that I dug one square down um, into the rock so I took all the dirt out and one square down into the rock I do that just so I had lots of space uh, to to make uh, you know t to be inside my my garden here um, and what I do is I put two piece or bars on one on top of each other for support and that's really an option um, I'll explain in a little bit why that's that may or may not be required but essentially um, you do need to have supports because the, the bars don't hold up very well in terms of weight. Once you get the bars in place, you'll see that there's some wood there that, that kind of puts it and holds it together. Uh, you'll see here when I'm planting, uh, so the wood will allow you to hold the bars uh, in place. If you don't have that there, then, uh, then it's not going to fit. So this is the completed garden. Or, so it's not that it's not going to fit, it's just that it'll collapse. So you need those wood f things there, so otherwise it'll collapse. And this is stage two, stage two of the garden. And I happen to come back right at the right time, a little bit later on in the next day, and you'll see stage three is just popping up. You can see my crops are slowly switching from stage two to stage three. And uh, there you have it. That is an underground garden. That's how you build one. And uh, good luck, survivors.